Welcome to a video from the digitalized.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 19628 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And a couple of interesting changes with this build. Um, the first one is a visual one. You may notice that down here in the bottom, this is uh, after the build number MN release. Uh, previous builds said RS release and Microsoft don't say what they actually mean these uh, RS and MN but it's actually different development branches so Microsoft has switched over from the RS release to the MN release development branch this is because we're getting these fast ring builds directly from the active development branch and uh, Microsoft say they were practicing their ability to change which branch we consider the active development branch so perhaps a bit of internal testing that they're doing so that's why that is different so what has actually changed with this build? Well, there's something quite interesting in this build, which is DNS over HTTPS. Now, what that means is, and I can show you briefly, but I'll explain it first, is um, DNS is the domain name services, is when you go to a website like thedigitallifestyle.com, your machine asks the DNS server, what's the IP address? How do I find this that service? And it returns it. Now, currently that's done unencrypted, and the DNS over HTTPS means it's encrypted like a like a HTTPS website, so you, it's um, more private. There's quite a few things you need to do to enable this, and Microsoft have a special or a separate blog post. You've got to go into the registry and, and enable it. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to enable that, and then let's we'll just have a quick look at it. So you go to this registry key here, you create this new uh, key, enable auto DOH, set the value to two. This only works on these insider builds, remember as well. And I think it's only just while they're testing this, it, you won't be using this when the system rolls out. And then you need to configure your um, DNS server to use one of these uh, that supports DOH. So let me just do that. So I'm gonna use Cloudflare's DNS you can use Google's you can um, you can use quad nine there's a few others that uh, that support this so let's give this a reboot and uh, then I'll give it a test so I'm going to give this a test now uh, Microsoft have a little guide showing you how to do this with the packet monitor so let's start to follow that so there you see I've just uh, run a ping for the digitallife.com so it's done a DNS and it's using 1111 the Cloudflare's uh, DNS server over HTTPS so that means it's effectively more secure it's not something you if you need you really need to worry about doing it's just something that uh, was coming and I guess eventually over time this will be switched on automatically and everything will be DNS all the DNS queries will be done over HTTPS or at least you'll be given the option to set it up easily so that's the the main change in this build the rest are fairly minor ones um, they fixed an issue with updates with a an error code uh, OXC 000409 and um, that's the other change with that's the only other change with it there are some known issues some of the narrator issues it's been hanging around for some time uh, extended period of time builds hanging I haven't seen that myself but they're still in the release notes um, the broken icon for documents and settings uh, looking at um, reports of IS configuration being set to default after this new build and you have to restore to restore it after um, you have to restore your IS configuration after installing this build. There's been a few IS issues with these builds recently, and they're looking reports that reports in the taskbar previous thumbnails aren't rendering consistently. So, like that, perhaps. Let me just open a window. Let's have a look. That one seems okay. Then what? they don't so maybe that's what they mean on that so that's it for the changes for 19628 quite a significant change the uh, DNS over HTTPS uh, a technical change but quite a significant one under the hood so thanks for watching this video you can see more on the digitallifestyle.com you can follow me on Twitter at ixdixon